All right, let's talk about today about this book, Never Eat Alone by Kate Ferrasi and Tal Russ. Uh, recently finished this book, it's over 300 pages. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of a long, long book, but a very uh, important read, I think. A uh, very helpful book. So this book is all about networking. Highly, 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 highly important skill. Uh, actually something I personally really have messed up uh, for many years. Like I really neglected networking. I think also this guy, Kate, says he also was pretty much like me and neglected like his network and everything. So I think this was for me especially very important to read uh, this networking book because really no one is like an island. We really to succeed in life we need like other people a lot. It's a I, for a long time I think I just thought about like how I can be like in the best shape and how I can be the smartest and read the most books and work the hardest and like competition competition but really it's you need those allies too you need to network you need to reach out you need mentors you need allies you will at some point uh, be the mentor to someone and of course you need customers too <laughs> that's very important if you're in business you need customers so uh, yeah, so you cannot just but like be a loner, uh, some lone wolf or something. So uh, in this video, I'm going to go over the best five ideas I got from this book. I got a lot of notes. There's a lot of great information here, but here are like my favorite five. If you want to get this book, I have linked it below this video in the description. So number one idea uh, I found very valuable here is that the very successful are not especially talented, educated or charming, but they all have a circle of trustworthy, talented and inspirational people they can call upon. So you don't essentially, I mean, necessarily need to be like this kind of superhuman person or something that you're like just so extraordinary or something to get successful, but instead you need like this network of people whose support will make you more like a uh, successful, not especially talented, educated or charming. But like, yeah, like many people in business, they, they if you really think about it, like, of course, there's like ex ex exceptional people, all these athletes, and then there's like these entrepreneurs who have like geniuses. But uh, it's possible really to, if you have like this, this network to co call upon, you don't need to be good at everything. You don't need to be that's special to succeed if you have the support of other people and in the end of the day like you really become uh, like like the, this is like almost a cliche like you hear it all the time like you're the result of the five people you hang out with but that's true like um, you really start to like there's this osmosis you get what other what other people around you are thinking and doing and so on you start to like add, uh, get that starts to become like part of you as well so it's important to choose like your friends wisely and like hang out with uh, like other like like-minded people who want to also be successful and you know, reading and uh, working hard and all, all this stuff so, <coughs> so then the second thing is that um, in business you need to reach out to people long before you need anything from them so the wrong approach is that you just think that uh, okay now everything ready I'm going to just start this business that does this and this and this and I'm going to open an office and then I'm going to just start looking for customers no it's uh, what he recommends instead in this book and he had like the some friend or something who he used as an example who was like that that's a recipe for res recipe for failure essentially because you like I, I actually, I was once like a real estate agent, and uh, that's like also a perfect example. Like just, I, I just went to real estate, and I had like no network, no one, no, not even like one contact, and that was a failure over a couple of months. I, I uh, quit already the real estate thing. But uh, like yeah, like real estate agent, business owner, you need to already have this network of people who want your services, and you need to like be making friends, networking before you start like don't even like try to sell them anything at that point you don't need to like just build a network first make these friends and once you have this network then it's much easier to start a business or whatever like, you choose to do uh, and you have all these people as a 
personal trainer, fitness coach, it's very helpful for me uh, to have a lot of people to know who want to lose weight, for example. If you are a real estate agent, you want a big network of people who are going to be selling their homes. If you are uh, starting a business in uh, accounting or something, have a big network first who, of like pe business people or something who need your services and then start it. And then third idea is uh, Mm, I'm going to choose the best five here. Yeah. Third idea is that uh, before meeting, uh, me before meeting people, always be prepared. Know exactly what they are about as a person and know their uh, proudest achievements. That's very important. Like that you can compliment them or they're like this trophy they got, this test, uh, this diploma or something. They, their proudest achievements. Uh, I do online fitness coaching so it's very easy for me actually because I reach out to people like Facebook and Instagram I can see like their profile I can really see everything where do they work and family and everything like I can really prepare beforehand and that's what I always do want to like check their profiles very thoroughly like like a couple of pictures and be sort of like clear about who I'm going to call then uh, so yeah that's what you should do like uh, it doesn't need to be a prospect either but if you're like networking and just to want to like have this new contact just always be prepared like uh, know what, what they're about so it's easy to like have conversation and so that you're really like interested in them then fourth is that um, in building a network remember to never ever disappear that's really one of the most important rules stay like <coughs> active like if you want to build a network you need to be like for example, like if there's some kind of event where the people gather, don't disappear for a long time. Go back and for uh, go back over and over again to that uh, kind of events, and so that you stay like present there and in people's minds. Same thing with social media, stay consistent, keep, stay in people's minds. Never like disappear for like a long period of time. And then fifth and last idea uh, is that you don't want to think of introversion as something to be cured. I'm actually an introvert too, but what he recommends, Kate here in this book, is uh, that introverts are best off going to like uh, actually speaking public, uh, publicly, as crazy as that sounds. The point, for, point is that uh, if you go to like events, you speak publicly and you reach out to a lot of people at the same time, then you will have a lot more time uh, for your downtime and your like uh, time alone to recover and like uh, gain energy as the introverts gain energy when they are like having this downtime alone and extroverts have energy when they like are with people so it's the other way around so extroverts then they can like network every day and meet people all the <laughs> all the time I don't know what I was going to uh, swear there but uh, like meet people like even like have like appointments uh, on top of each other like all the time like just a full day of meeting people but introverts are much better like meeting people a lot or a lot of people at once and then having some uh, time alone that's it five best ideas from this book one of the best books really i've read uh, i've read a lot of books but i would say maybe like top 50 or something uh, really good book highly recommend getting it from uh, the link in the description from bookdeepers.com and that's it. Give this video a like if you find it helpful and see you next time.